the person and society, there is a certain resemblance between the union of the divine persons and the fraternity that men ought to establish among themselves. The human person needs life in society in order to develop in accordance with his nature. Certain societies, such as the family and the state, correspond more directly to the nature of man. The human person is and ought to be the principal, the subject, and the object of every social organization. Widespread participation in voluntary associations and institutions is to be encouraged. In accordance with the principle of subsidiarity, neither the state nor any larger society should substitute itself for the initiative and responsibility of individuals and intermediary bodies. Society ought to promote the exercise of virtue, not obstruct it. It should be animated by a just hierarchy of values. Where sin has perverted the social climate, it is necessary to call for the conversion of hearts and appeal to the grace of God. Charity urges just reforms. There is no solution to the social question apart from the gospel.